Hello friends, it's a music day. You ready to see Pete? We'll find out what he's wearing today. Let's tap along and we'll sing our song. Here we go. Pete, Pete, join our song, join our song. Come on out, come on out and tap along and tap along. Let's listen to We Get Any Ticking in Pete's house. I do hear him. Let's take a look and see what Pete is wearing today. Have you been outside lately? And have you seen any flowers growing? Since it's getting to be springtime, the weather's getting warmer and the sun is out. We've gotten lots of rain. So all the flowers are starting to grow. So we're going to sing about the growing flowers today. Let's see if we can tick along with Pete. Match his ticks. Good job, this one's medium, not too fast and not too slow. Good job, and stop, how about Slow it down. See if you can go just like Pete. This time with your slow taps. Great job and freeze. How about fast taps? Let's try. Here we go. Slow Pete. See if you can match his sticks. Not too fast. And freeze. Great job. So we're gonna get our bodies moving a little bit. This is a song I bet some of you have heard before and it has some motion, so let's stand up. And we're gonna start with our head. So we do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And then we're gonna to point to some other things too. So see if you can follow along with my motions. We do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, let's try that one more time. See if you can follow along and touch all of those parts. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Since we're talking about growing though, we need to do from low to high. That's how flowers grow, they start down low. So this time we're gonna do it backwards. This will be very challenging for me in particular. So we're gonna do toes, knees, shoulders, and then we're gonna go even higher and reach to the sky. Try that with me, ready? Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, reach up high. Then we're gonna do this part backwards too. Let's see if we can do it. Start with your toes, we do. Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, shoulders, sky. Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, shoulders, sky. Nose, mouth, ears, and eyes. Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, shoulders, sky. Oh, that was hard. Let's try that again, ready? We'll go a little faster too, see if we can go a little faster. Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, shoulders, sky. Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, shoulders, sky. Nose, mouth, ears, and eyes. Toes, knees, shoulders, sky, shoulders, sky. Awesome job, you can have a seat. Has anyone ever planted something? Have you ever planted a flower or a tree or a vegetable? Well, when you plant something, first you need to dig into the dirt. You need to put some tiny seeds inside, cover it with more dirt, then what else does it need to grow? We talked about one of the things last time I saw you. It needs rain or water and it needs some sunshine. And that's why we're starting to see the flowers coming out now because it's sunny, it's rainy. We have all of those things flowers need. So we're going to do a song about planting flowers and we need some little seeds. So get those wiggly fingers out. We practiced those a lot last time. So we're going to do, I plant some little seeds in the ground. Now we're gonna make a big sun. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down come the raindrops, soft and slow. Up come the flowers, grow, grow, grow. And we're gonna grow.
row like a flower. So starting down low, we do. See if you can try that with me. Go down low. We're gonna move just like my whistle. Go up high. So at the end of the song, we'll do that growing part. Let's try it again. First, we need our seeds. I plant some little seeds in the ground. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down come the raindrops, soft and slow. Up come the flowers, grow, grow, grow. Here we go. Excellent job. We can add, if you still have your instruments from last time, you could add the yellow sun, use your gong or your cymbal. And for the rain, you can add your maraca. We'll try it one more time and you can add those instrument sounds this time. You can even use this for the little seeds. Let's try that. I plant some little seeds in the ground. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down come the rain, drop soft and slow. Up come the flowers, grow, grow, grow. We'll sit back down. I've got some other instruments to show today. And some of these we've seen before. Here come our boom whackers. And we know they come in different colors and different shapes. This one is red and very big. Here's another red one, but this is really little. And if I put them in order, let's see. We'll listen to them. We'll start with a big one and I'm gonna go all the way across so that we can hear what it sounds like. going up like my whistle did. We started down low and we get higher and higher till we get to the little one. So the big one has a low sound and the little one has a high sound. That's true too. I'm going to put these aside for a moment. For the xylophones, we play these sometimes too if you remember. And the xylophones have different shaped bars. So I'm gonna start with the big bar and I'm gonna go all the way across. So the big one has a low sound and the little one has a high sound. And I can also slide across and make it grow very fast. I have one other instrument to show you today these are little bells. I'm gonna put these out. There's a lot of them, aren't there? So let's put them in a row. Let's see. Oh, I did this wrong. So let's listen. They all look like they're the same size, don't they? They're all different colors, but they all look the same. Let's listen and see what we hear. Do they sound the same? Mm -mm, I heard it going up again, just like our growing flower. Let's take a look inside. So here's the first one, it has a low sound. There's the other one has a little sound. If you can see inside, do you see something different in there? Inside this bell is big and this bell is small. So we can't see it on the outside, but if we look inside, this does have a bigger bell. And so it makes a lower sound. This one, since it has a little bell, makes a higher sound. So these are just some examples of some instruments that can grow, can go from low to high or from high to low. My piano is another example of an instrument that can do that. And I'm gonna show you some instruments you can make at home that can make high sounds and low sounds. So let's go make some of those. Okay, so I've been looking around my house for some things that we can play. And in these glasses, that you can see these three are the same. They're all the same size. I put some water in some of them. This one is empty. There's no water inside. I'm gonna 
to put some color in here so you can see which one is which. This will look pretty too. And that way you can see how much water is in each one. And this is something you can try at home if you want to try a couple, of, find a couple of glasses that are the same size. All right, so I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to tap the side of the glasses and let's see what they sound like when I tap. Did you hear? They don't sound the same, do they? Listen. If I put a lot of water in, I get a lower sound, just like the big instruments that had a low voice. If I don't put any water in, it makes a higher sound. I can do the same thing. Here's some smaller ones. I'll put these aside. I'm gonna leave one of these empty. Let's put lots of water in this one. I'm gonna pour. And maybe you could help do the pouring too, if that's something you are able to do. It's a good time to practice. Okay, so this one doesn't have any water. This one has lots. Let's listen. We'll put some color in here so we can see it better. So again, this one doesn't have any water. If it has lots of water, it's like those big instruments with the low voices. So you can try that at home. Put some water in some glasses and tap. Make sure you tap pretty gently though because glass is pretty breakable. You have to be careful with that. The other thing I wanted to show you, I have two glass bottles and one is big and the other one is small. So I'm gonna blow into the bottle. This takes a little bit of practice because you have to kind of aim the air right down into the hole. But just listen to what the big bottle sounds like. And the little one. Since this is bigger, it makes a lower sound. try that at home too if you have some empty bottles that you can use. I did try it with some plastic ones and it didn't work quite as well. So if you have glass that would be best. But those are just some examples of some things that you can do at home to make kind of like a xylophone instrument that can go high and low. Let's sing a couple more songs though. Okay so so far we've been singing about flowers growing but there are other things that grow too. Can you think of some other things that grow? How about <laughs> do you want to see my dog who would really like to come to music class? <laughs> He's a puppy. He's grown a lot since we got him last year. He would really like to play, but that would be a bad idea. Do trees grow? Yes. How about vegetables? Do vegetables grow? Yes, they do. What about your toys? Do your toys grow? No. How about books? Do books grow? No, books don't grow either. How about you? Do you grow? Yes, you do. In fact, I bet at the next time I see you, you'll look bigger because you're growing every day. So this song is about other things that grow. There's a flower too, but there's some other things. Let's see if we can name the things we see. So first we have flower, tree. These are tricky. They look alike. This one is a duck. This is a goose. So we'll say ducks and geese because we're going to sing about more than one. Then we have these two look alike too. This is a mouse and a rat and little kitty cats. And then we have a oh, monkey. And what kind of bird is this? Do you know? It's a parrot. And we have some vegetables. We have peas and carrots. And then. Oh, Children from all over the world, children grow, no matter where you live. So we're going to sing a song about all of these things that grow. And I bet during the song, you could help me name some of these things and sing along a little bit. We sing, there are so many things that grow, grow, grow. So many things that grow, grow, grow. There are flowers and trees, ducks and geese mice and rats and little kitty cats 
There are monkeys and parrots, peas and carrots, and children from all over the world. Let's try that. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna lay all of these out. I'm gonna let Maddie film and point so I can play the song on the piano and you can sing along with me. So we'll give it a try. All right, so we do. There are so many things that grow, grow, grow. So many things that grow, grow, grow. There are flowers and trees, ducks and geese, mice and rats and little kitty cats. There are monkeys and parrots, bees and carrots, and children from all over the world. Great job. Let's try that one more time and see if you can sing along too. You ready? We do. There are so many things that grow. if you would like to do some. We do. Each of us is a flower. We'll start down low. Growing in life's garden. You can go up high. You can even spread your arms out like leaves or petals. So we do. Each of us is a flower. Growing in life's garden. Each of us is a flower. We need the sun and rain. You can go back down low. If you'd like to add an instrument, you can add something to shake. We do. Each of us is a flower growing in life's garden. Each of us is a flower. We need the sun and rain. So let's do this one more song. You can sing along. You can dance. You can play your instruments. But come on over and join me. has a pretty cool website for kids and on there you can explore all of the different instrument sounds so it might be interesting to listen to maybe the trumpet and the tuba and maybe the violin and the double bass so that you can hear a small instrument and a big instrument and how they they sound alike or different and they also have on that site a place where you have ideas for building instruments at home. Some that are a little more complicated than the ones we've talked about. So that might be a fun thing to do. All right, you ready? We're going to sing Good Night to Pete. Here we go. Good night, Pete. Good night, Pete. Good night, Pete. It's time to say good night. Goodbye, everybody. It's a beautiful day. Have fun playing outside. I'll see you soon.